They coming, they coming, they coming. Hit the button, hit the button. so happy right now i just came from shy's party and i just got a shout out to travis scott for sending me the address and the time and making sure that i was able to spend the spend that birthday memory with my daughter to be there with the rest of the family and i just saw everybody it was uh you know chris and Corey and kylie kylie let me in right when i got to the spot because the security you know stopped me once again, when I got there, and, you know, it's just a matter of just having a conversation, open dialogue, and it was just, everyone just had a great time, and I'm just really happy that I could be there for my children. I just want to thank everybody for their support in this situation, you know, and just let me just calmly and legally take control of my narrative. Oh, I know we disagree. Uh, people have different opinions on a lot of different things that I do, but with this one, this is my main focus. My life centers around my children, and I just had a great time today. Thank everybody for this. Young world, now this is where I started thinking that this could be fake. You know what I'm saying? You know the Kardashians got the show thing. I don't know if it's still going. Whatever the case may be, this all seemed like it kind of could be theatrical. Either that or Yeezy is out of his damn mind because the video he just made... After the one he made yesterday, the one that the one now saying how he left the party, he just seemed so damn delusional. He seemed like he like Kylie let me in, like everything was all good. Joker, don't you understand that if this is real, they are building up ammunition to do you dirty. You came to the party uninvited, unannounced. Travis Scott, you said first of all, why are you even saying that he told you? Like you threw him under the bus by saying he gave you the address. But if that's the case, you threw him under the bus. He's in on it, probably, you know what I'm saying? To set you up to come there, knowing that you came there against their will. Now, this is the thing about when you break up with somebody, when you have kids with somebody. This is the thing. Birthdays, holidays, gatherings, special days, um, th those become separated. You're not supposed to be invited to the baby's mom's party for the daughter. You have your own party for her. That's how it goes. You're not supposed to be... I mean, now if you could, if if it works out to where y'all all can do a thing like that together, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? If everybody's mutual agreement, everybody feel the same way, we all can coexist at the same spot together, with or with or without or other significant new people or not, whatever. They, however you work it out, if you can do that, that's good. But if that's not part of the agreement, if everybody's not cool with that, you got to be cool with just not doing that. You don't still do parties together and stuff like that when you have when you break up with somebody and y'all got a kid together. Y'all have separate events, separate gatherings. Easy. You got to understand how to say F them kids, not in a bad way, not like you ain't supposed to care about your kids, but you got to look at it like don't just be so blinded by the situation that you're going to go throw everything away and allow these jokers to walk you into a trap. Because that's what's really going to happen. They're going to walk you into a trap. You just showed up somewhere where you wasn't welcome. You know what I'm saying? They didn't give you the address to come there themselves. You knew they didn't want you there. They tried to keep it away from you. So Travis Scott went out here. And all the, all, the, all the stuff he's under right now. No telling what this joker would do to get himself out of whatever could be possibly. Whatever. If that's even real. With the whole concert thing or whatever like that. But then you go and blast his name. And even tell everybody he's doing so, so, the whole thing and it seems weird you know what i'm saying it seems like at this point is it staged now you know what i'm saying that this is some type of big like because it just don't look right now it didn't look right from the beginning you know what i'm saying i was feeling everything he's saying about the whole how baby's moms could you know what i'm saying but at the same time this is not really what that's about this is not exactly that you know what i'm saying i don't think she ever told the joker he couldn't see the kid she just didn't want him to come to the party. And like I said, that's what happens when you break up with people. You got to accept things like that that are going to happen. Fuck them kids, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's just how you got to look at it. Because you can't allow that to mess your whole life up. Next thing they're going to do, Chris Strong, oh, you already know the tricks she got up her sleeve and how she can be. She's going to have you set up, caught up, and messed up and mess your whole life up. I'm telling you that right now. Fall back. Man up. Like I had to do, I went through the same. This is why I be talking sometimes. Like I, I went through all this myself. You know what I'm saying? 
I went through this. I first broke my oldest kid first. Me and her mom been broke up, but the first time she had my daughter around a different dude, did stuff without me. Yeah, like, and this was at the height when I thought I was like this person in the streets where you wouldn't even think she would dare to even do, but she did it. You know what I'm saying? She tested my chin. And you got to be like, you know what? You either going to just fall back, grow up, and accept it for what it is, or do something dumb and allow yourself to get caught up and jammed up over something dumb. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. Easy, better fall the hell back. This don't look right. It eventually, is going to lead to him his down. If this is not all staged, like I said, this looked at this point looked like a damn show because yeah, you're looking real delusional. Well, you know the Joker got problems, but this is look different. Like him leaving the party now, he just looked like he was just like everybody was there. I talked to everybody. I saw Chris. Like even if they welcomed you with a smile and a greet, like it was cool, you was there. They didn't want you there, Joker. You already know they did not want you there, so. They're not just going to be cool with you showing up. And if, 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 there ain't, if this is all real stuff, they think you're crazy anyway. They ain't going to confront you probably there knowing you might snap out and hurt somebody if they really think like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to always have in the back of your mind and remember you looked at as a black, a crazy black man. So to people who are not black, especially, they, they don't, they, they, you look unpredictable. They're scared of you. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you got or who you are. So you got to be careful, Joker. Tread lightly. Watch what the hell you're doing because they know how he feel about his kids. Even if it's only a figment of his imagination, this could be something that they might try. To, they're probably trying to use to throw the Joker over the rail, so they can somebody can be in control of his money, get him put into a mental institution. Something you know I'm saying, get his some something something not along those lines. So you, you, you better fall back and get your mind right, man, for real.